Okay. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. A reminder, there are no recordings allowed during the press conference. Uh, please silence all cell phones and electronic devices and make sure to give your name and affiliation uh, whenever you get the mic to ask a question. Uh, we're joined by Texas head coach Mike White and then uh, players Tegan Kavan and Bella Dayton. Uh, one will be joining us here in a second, uh, but we'll start with an opening statement, coach, and then we'll go to questions. Well, first off, obviously, congratulations to Stanford uh, making College World Series, uh, Niger Canada and Niger Canada for uh, getting, becoming the, uh, the player of the year, USA player of the year. Uh, tremendous award and well-deserved. Uh, we knew that it was going to be a tough matchup. She is tough as they come, and obviously, uh, you know, it was good to get out there and get a couple of runs up and then be able to get those extra runs in the last innings, um, in the sixth innings there. Um, hats off to Tegan Kavan through extremely well, freshman, shut out against one of the best clubs in the country, so couldn't be any prouder than her. And then, of course, our players came through in some situations um, there as well with some, some runners on base. All right. Open up to questions. Questions, anybody? Go to second row over here on the right. Jacob Richmond, Lone Star Live. Coach, you talked about how important it was for teams to be able to adapt to this tournament, to have a freshman come in on the opening night, pitch a shutout, and be basically unhittable. What does that do for your team? Well, just uh, it's a good start, and that's what you want. You know, we, we've been really kind of struggling a little bit, to tell you the truth, with, with some starting pitching um, the last few weeks. Um, but I think they're growing week to week, and they're getting tougher, and they're learning from this environment. And, it, you know, it can be tough at times. Adversity creates opportunity, and, um, you know, Tegan's come through, and each time I, she goes out there, I think she gets stronger. And uh, our next pitcher up, I don't know who that's going to be yet, but hopefully they learn off what happened tonight. There we go. Front row left right here. Um, Brady Vernon, Softball America. Uh, Tegan, was there anything that kind of went into tonight? You looked very comfortable. You didn't look like a freshman with nerves. Just what kind of kind of played into your kind of calm presence? I think last week honestly helped a lot when I came in in a big situation last week to come here. And I think that just kind of called me. I knew I was prepared and that I've been in front of a big stage before. But just kind of staying locked in with Reese the whole time and calming it, or calming my nerves and just breathing, really focusing on my breath. And more. Fire away if you need. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess Mike. Um, I guess with facing someone like Nija, how much does it help to have the speed that your team has, and you know, you don't have to always rely on the big hits, which is you know, finding different ways to score runs. Well, that's kind of our mo. This is what we do. We try to find ways to, to win, and it comes to my fast pitch days uh, for men. And you know, you, I, I would tell the ladies sometimes you'd strike out 15 times, you know, against some of these pitchers, but you'd find a ways to get runs and and hang on to them. And it's the same thing here. You're not always going to hit home runs. I, I remember we went out and played Arkansas in a Super Regional. They had all these home runs, but we were able to shut them down with change-ups and drop balls. Um, so you've got to be able to adapt against good pitching and be able to find ways to score runs. T, I know it was a little while since the last time you played Stanford, but uh, did you feel any different this time around? Was the approach any different for you after you know more of the season? I think the approach was a little different. I mean, I knew I, I, w I was glad I had film to go back and look over against them. But I think we we're both so different teams from February. So I think it's a different approach, but just and it's a bigger stage here. I think everyone just comes with a different fight. Any questions for Bella now that she's joined us? Mm -hmm. You guys were pretty successful against Nigel with runners in scoring position. I just what was that kind of approach at the plate against someone that's been so tough for a lot of teams this year? Um, just committing to our plan. Um, we, we've we talked about it so much on what we're hunting and what we're looking for and obviously communicating just throughout each at bat and relaying that message on like throughout the lineup. That's, that's kind of what we did today. And then just whenever I went up there my second time through, we, what was I better at off of a pitcher like her? And that's what we stayed with and that's kind of how we executed. Okay, go back second row on the right. Bella, when you're in that situation, um, how much confidence does it give you guys when you've got Tegan on the mound, shutting out the team, and, and you know keeping you guys in it for as long as, uh, as as long as you need it to score those runs? Oh yeah, I mean we're confident behind any pitcher that is up on the mound. Uh, we just know as offense that we need to do our job, and it doesn't have to be in the first inning. We have seven innings to play, so just staying confident and again communicating throughout the the lineup and passing the bat and just relaying the message on what we're seeing, what we're looking for, and, and what it looks like. So again, 
definitely very confident behind all our pitchers, and tonight was just a really fun game to start off the World Series. Okay, we've got one from Eric Lopez on Zoom. Eric Lopez, D1 softball. For Tegan, everybody talks about Reese and her bat, but talk about her as a catcher and catching you and what a difference she makes. Yeah, she makes a big difference on the field. Uh, she's always locking me in. She knows we're going to call timeout at the same time, and she knows really she knows what I need every single time she comes out and talks to me. So I'm really glad to have her out there, and she keeps my nerves down. Uh, before the game, we always talk going into it, and she really just helps me center myself and be where my feet are. All right, we'll go back front row left here. Mike, what's been the most impressive part about Tegan's development since she arrived at the fall? Yeah, I, I think just learning to calm her nerves. You know, it's it's a challenge sometimes when you're nervous. It's a good thing. We talk about it. You know, it's part of the adrenaline and to get going. If you don't have nerves, then you know, you're not firing. You know, getting ready to go play. Um, so she's been able to kind of channel those things into energy and be able to control it. And I just like that growth, and I'm, I'm excited to see how she does going into the rest of the tournament. Any more questions? I think that'll do it, Texas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.